What is up, Jerk Squad? It is I, the Perch Jerker, and I'm out here at Newport Beach, California. I'm at Balboa Pier, and I'm here to do some fishing and teach you guys some fishing tips. This wooden pier was built in 1906, and the pier is 920 feet long from end to end. Make sure you guys subscribe because I'm going to be teaching you a bunch of tips today and I'm going to be showing you guys how to fish at this pier. I am very excited to announce the launch of Perch Merch. Look at this cool t-shirt. I have other items and designs for sale, so if you go down in the top of the description or the top of the comments, I'm going to leave the Perch Merch store for you guys to get some Perch Merch. All the apparel that I have says Jerk Squad on the backside, so whenever you're out here fishing, you can always locate a fellow jerk when they're out here. The pier opens at 5 a.m. and it closes at 12 a.m. midnight. I find it's always best to come here as early as possible so that way you can find a good parking spot and find yourself a good fishing spot. If you can find free street parking out there somewhere, then more power to you. But if you can't, the parking around here is $2.55 per hour. The parking lot rate is for May through September. The max parking amount that they're going to charge you is going to be $25.60, so that'll be the max if you stay here all day. All right, this is the entrance to the pier, and right next to the entrance, you have a men and women's bathroom to use. So if you ever need to go to the bathroom, just walk down to the end of the pier, you're good to go. All right, Jerk Squad, we're on top of the pier. Let's go catch some fish, baby. Don't forget to subscribe to the Perch Jerker. All right, Jerk Squad, if you're going to come here, you are going to want to bring some sabiki rigs. These sabiki rigs have very small hooks on them because these fish have very small mouths. The bait fish that we're going to catch, they have small mouths. All right, guys, at the bottom of the sabiki rig, I am hooking a one-ounce weight to the clip at the bottom so that way when you cast the sabiki rig into the water it floats down to the bottom and then you jig it upwards these are the little hooks that i'm going to be throwing out and i'm just going to let it go out with this little flashy thing on it and see what we can get all right guys on my second setup i've got a pyramid weight at the bottom and then i've got a sabiki rig that goes all the way up and on each of these sabiki rigs i have a little bit bigger hooks and i'm putting a chunk of mackerel on them so i'm going to throw this out send it to the bottom of the ocean and see what's out there now whenever you throw your pole out you're going to want to make sure that you loosen the drag on your reel and what this does is prevents a fish from pulling your pole over the edge and it also gives you an alarm system whenever the fish bites your pole all right jerk squad if you're up here on the pier cutting up bait i got like shrimp for my sabiki rig i got cut up mackerel if you're ever cutting up bait up here on the pier you always want to cover your bait and or close the bags because there's birds around here and they will come and steal everything you have and you don't want that to happen so make sure you cover your bait down there yeah there we go all right there we go baby little bait fish what is this oh is this a jack smell i don't want that these things stink oh they're not good bait no all right we got the jack smell right away yeah this is a jack smell it's my personal best right here <laughs> but yeah this is a jack smell you can tell you can tell by the yellow on the side of its uh, gills see the gill right there you want to pet him look pet him you can touch him. Look, he won't hurt. Get a touch of live fish. He's going back in the water. He won't hurt you. You don't remember Dory? Okay. All right, we gotta let him go. Ooh, ooh, that's a bigger one. There we go, baby. There we go. Woo hoo! Damn, that's a nice mac attack, baby. Let's go. Now we're talking. Quit your squirming. They're so slippery and strong. <laughs> All right, there we go, jerk squad. That is the Mac attack, baby. Mm. He's a hungry dude. Oh, look at those colors on these guys. Yeah, oh yeah, dude, they taste so good. What are they? This is a uh, mackerel. Pa oh. This is a uh, Pacific mackerel. Okay. The Spanish mackerel, I think, have a different design. I don't know. I uh -huh. could be wrong, it's but. Pretty good. It is a pretty good. But yeah, this is a mackerel. Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm gonna keep him. All right, we're gonna keep this guy. We're gonna cook him or something. All right, first thing I'm going to do is take his head off, and then what we're going to do is gut him. There we go. We're going to descale the fish. Descale it. Get all them scales off. Get all the slime and gunk off of it. All right, Jerk Squad, there we go. Just like that. Clean out all the guts. Scale the fish, get all the grime off, and then you have a perfect snack right here, you guys. If you can pull out these mackerel, you're having a good time, so... If you pull out these mac, I like to clean them and fillet them and get the guts out as soon as I pull them out. Then whenever I get home, all I have to do is score them and cook them and we'll get to that part later. So stay tuned guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. All right, now with this mac, I'm gonna take the mac and I'm going to stick it in this bag so it stays clean somewhat. And then I take the bag and I stick it into my cooler with some ice, some frozen ice water on the bottom. And then there you go, you catch more.
All right, if you're using a sabiki rig and you go to put it away, bring little bags with you. This is the best thing you can do because you can just stick your whole sabiki, big sabiki rig into the bag and whenever you go to use it next, you can pull it all right out. All right, there we go. We got another one. I think it's a jack smelt again. Yeah, it is. Something will eat this. I'm going to throw it out. <laughs> Got to get something in the water. All right, there you go, jerk squad. Oh my God, he's you hook the fish through the top of the nose, and then you throw it out live and see what you can catch. All right, Jerk Squad, this is the rig that I'm throwing out with the big pieces of bait that I catch. I've got a two ounce slip sinker, then I've got a swivel and a bead. The bead is to protect the line from the sinker. And then at the end of this leader here, I have a bait hook. Oh. Nice cat. There we go. A little bit bigger smelt. Oh. How many have you caught? This would be like four, I think, now. Nice. <laughs> little smell. They got a little yellow on the back. That's Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah, little smelt. Little smelt action on the sabiki rig. That's all I'm using is just a little hook with some shrimp on it. And then these smelts are hooking it up. All right. Back into the water, buddy. We don't need him yet. All right, whenever you have your sabiki rig on the line, you wanna hold your pull out, and I usually just flip open the bale and drop it straight down. Straight down into the water, lock your bale. I usually let it hit the bottom, then I tighten it up, and then you wanna just jig it a little bit. I always just jig it up and down a little bit, wait for something to tap it, and then as soon as something starts hitting it, boom, I reel it in. Ooh, just like that. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. There we go, baby, little jack smelt. And he's off. There we go, Jerks. Little jack smelt action. These jack smelts are everywhere today. All right, back in the water. All right, that's a little jack smelt. <laughs> little guy, but I think I'm going to throw him on my big pole and throw him out live. There you go. See. Might catch something that's right. <laughs> Have a good day, man. Yep, you too, man. Take it easy. Thank you. Ooh. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's a bigger one. Yeah. That's two nice mackerel for the day. Stay up here, buddy. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, this is a good one. I'm going to eat this one. It's a mackerel. Oh. Yep. That's a good snack right there. <laughs> we got a fish, the perch jerker, baby. <laughs> All right, there we go, jerks. We got another mackerel filet. We cleaned out the inside of it. Nice little snack. Cook this when we get home. All right, Jerk Squad, here's my view from over in the corner of the pier right now. There is Newport Beach. Everyone be swimming. <clears throat> all right, all right, there we go. Another little jack smelt on the bottom. This dude is too small and we don't need him right now. So we're gonna throw him back in the ocean. Boop. <clears throat> Hoo -hoo, there we go, there's our first double bagger. There we go, we got two jack smelts. One and two. Ooh, there we go, that feels like a decent one. Oh yeah, get up here, get up here. Oh yeah, another Mac. All right, all right, all right. There we go, jerks. There we go, we got another Mac snack for us. Ooh, that's a little bit bigger jack smelt than we've been catching. There we go, another little jack smelt, dude. All right, throw them back. This is my big game pole that I'm using. This is my new fishing pole that I got, dude. I don't like to show off, but dude, you guys have to see this thing. This is a Saltus 30H, and then the pole is a Daiwa Proteus WN76MHF. But yeah, this is my new rig, you guys. Now Ooh, there we go, baby. There we go. There we go. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yes. Mackerel. 
Mac attack, baby. That's snack time right there. Oh yeah, dude. That's a pretty one. Oh yeah. How long you been out today? Perfect little hook set. I've been out here about three hours now. Okay. Oh, that's the exact. How many you Uh, this will be my fifth mackerel, okay. I think. Semi slow day, huh? Yep, semi. Yeah. I have one more in there that size, actually. That's a healthy size. Oh, they're not yep. bad. Nope. But yeah, you just take these home like this, dude. Cook them up, man. It's a good time. Big time. Oh, yeah. That's a decent size Mac right there, baby. There we go. Get it up. Get it up. Get it up. Get it up. There we are. Yes, dude. Oh, yeah. That is the size Mac that we're looking for, baby. Mac attack for the snack. All right, Jerry Squad, I was hoping to catch something big for you today, but I didn't. But we got a bunch of mackerel, so we're gonna take those home and we're gonna cook those up. I'm gonna show you guys a good recipe that I use. Yep, this is the pier today. So we didn't catch nothing big, but I wanted to show you guys what rigs to use. The sabiki rig is best for dropping down to get those little bait fish. Then whenever you get those bait fish, you wanna put them on a Carolina rig and just cast them out and wait for something big. You can get leopard sharks, rays, anything like that. So. Let's get these mackerel back to the crib and cook them. On the pier up here, you have all these benches that go all the way down the pier. You got these little benches and then you got little bait cutters everywhere. All right, Jerk Squad, here you go. This is Newport Beach, California on a Saturday. Here's Balboa Pier. Got all your swimmers and surfers. Got everyone on the coast. This is the front of the pier. The pier's actually not too busy today. And we got some live entertainment over here, baby. Live entertainment. When I'm so old, there's all these things like I am without you. There's the Rockin' Baja Lobster Restaurant. I've never eaten there, but it looks good. Oh my God, dude, I wonder what happened, man. Newport Beach Ambulam. Who called the Ambulam? All right, over here we got Baja Sharky. That place looks like it is bumping. I've never been there. I want to get there sometime. All right, Jerry Squad, now that I'm back at the crib, the first thing I'm going to do with these mackerel that I cleaned up at the pier is score them. You're going to take your knife and you're going to cut all the way down the fish. Now what this does is makes the flavor be able to get inside of the fish. And whenever you eat it, when you put your fork in, you can take out these nice chunks and eat them perfectly. All right, there we go. We got our perfectly scored mackerel. Now today, I'm gonna be trying a new recipe. I'm gonna be using honey sriracha seasoning. You can get this at Sam's Club. And what I'm gonna do is pour the seasoning on top of the fish like so. Oh my God, that looks so good. Oh, look at that seasoning on there, baby, let's go. All right, now what we're gonna do is work it into those scores. You want all of that seasoning to get into those scores so it cooks throughout the fish. See, there you go. You got to get all that seasoning inside of those scores and it'll help marinate the meat. Then you're going to want to flip over your fish and do the same thing. Make sure you're juicing all up that uh, seasoning on the plate. And we're going to season the other side with this honey sriracha seasoning. Get it all in the scores real good. And then we're going to open up the fish and put a little bit inside just for a little bit of extra kick. Ooh, and that's what it should look like. Nice and crusted. Oh man, get all that seasoning in there. Ooh, that's gonna be good. All right, Jerk Squad, now we need pan. I like to use an iron skillet because it works good and it's cool. Now, the first thing you do to the pan is squirt some oil in there. Love to rub it around, get it nice and juicy. Mmm, nice and juicy. All right, once you get the oil in the bottom of the pan, you're gonna put your two guppies in there, like so, nice and cute looking. Ooh, look at those bad boys. Then you're gonna take your oil, squirt a little bit of oil on top of them, get them nice and juicy. And then what I like to do is take a couple knobs of butter like this. Ooh, stick them inside the fish. Put them on top of the fish, stick them inside, tape it to it, glue it in. I don't care whatever you want to do, man. Just get it in there. Ooh, and then it cooks and melts over top of the fish and makes it all crispy and tasty. Ooh, hoo, hoo. there we go, jerk squad. Honey sriracha fish with butter and oil ready to cook up. All right, jerk squad, I preheat the oven to 350 degrees. It should be almost there by now. All right, here's our fish. Fish is going into the oven. Now I'm gonna leave those in there for about 25 to 30 minutes because I like them a little bit crispy. All right, you guys, the fish is done. 
it is time to pull this out and see what we got going on. Oh, oh, oh man, look at that, dude. Oh, that looks so good, man. Honey sriracha mackerel right there, baby. Look at that steam. Little sizzle going on there. Little bit of sizzling action. Oh man, that looks so good. I can't wait to try these. All right, Jerk Squad, for those of you who are in the Jerk Squad, you already know what time it is. It's time for that Jerk Master privilege. Ooh, now check out these fish, dude. All right, you guys, I'm gonna get this nice juicy bite right here. Ooh, I'm gonna get two juicy bites right there. All right, take out your little pin bone, there we go. All right, there's our little piece of meat, Jerk Squad. Ooh, this is fresh. Honey Sriracha Mackerel. Ooh, I'm so excited to try this. All right, bottoms up, Jerk Master Privilege, baby. Mmm. Oh, dude, that Honey Sriracha in there is killer. Mmm. Oh, that is so good, dude. Mmm. This is excellent. Mmm. Oh, that is so good, dude. I, saw, I strongly suggest trying this recipe. Oh man, I just can't stop. This stuff is so good. Mm. I haven't eaten all day. This is fresh caught. Mm, this is so perfect. So perfect. All right, guys, don't forget to go down into the description and I'm gonna put it at the top of the comments too. Get yourself some Perch Merch. The Perch Merch store is officially open. I got awesome t-shirt designs. I got mugs, phone cases, anything you want. So I hope you learned a bunch about Balboa Pier. I've never been there before. This is actually my first time. So if you go there, you know, if you catch some fish, let me know. I want to know what you got. Um, don't forget to subscribe and join the Jerk Squad. You got to join the Jerk Squad, guys. We're taking over. And like I said, all the shirts have Jerk Squad on the back of them. So whenever you're out fishing, we're all going to know who's in the Jerk Squad. So make sure you share this video. I hope you learned some tips. And I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you subscribe for more videos. And we'll be around. All right. Peace out, guys.